Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out Realm Royale. This is, um, another Battle Royale game, kind of like Fortnite. Apparently this one's a lot better though. Uh, a friend recommended it to me, so I'm gonna have a look and see if it's any better. It might be, it might not be, we'll see. Um, never played it before, I don't know anything about it. Um, besides that it apparently has a tutorial, and you can actually choose a girl character instead of it randomizing like Fortnite, which is way better. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know if I need an account for this game or not. Uh, if I do, that's a little annoying because I probably don't have one. High Res Studios. They spelt res with a Z, which is kind of weird because it's short for resolution. Uh, Georgia. Okay. Um, I know that the people that made Archer, but okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know they did video games. I thought they just, you know, did TV series and stuff. Get a little loading thing in the corner. <sighs> wow. Mm. I've had a bit of a rough evening. I'm not feeling so great. Hopefully this will be fun and I'll feel better. We'll see how we go. Um... It's taking a while, jeez. I hope this is like a first time setup thing. Okay, I do need to log in apparently. It might just use my Nintendo account rather than requiring me to register with something else that I've never heard of. Uh, sure, that's fine. <laughs> Connecting, logging in, finding players. Uh... Oh, I'll use the... These controls are really weird. You scroll down the, the list with the right analog stick. And it only happens after you hold it down for a second, like it's a key that's being repeated. That's really bad. <laughs> I didn't intend anyone to read it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I don't have a high-res account, so... I guess I'll just make a new one for now. Uh, you're not signing in. Yeah, I'll just do it without signing in for now, just so I get an idea of what it's like. I might make an account later if I like it. Uh, I guess that's one of the versions that's come out, the Eternal Conflict. The Celestial Exalted or the Demonic Forsaken? Huh. So is this good omens? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> Alright, um, well the title screen looks kind of similar to the Fortnite one, I guess. You've got the characters that sort of stand in the middle there. Uh, let's look at the options. I'm using headphones, so I probably should change that to headphones. I don't know what effect that has on the game, though. Um... I have no idea if that does anything. Uh, I guess I'll leave this on the defaults, so that's probably fine. Controls. They're not full. Oh, oh, they are fully mappable. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's nice. Uh, good to know. Alright, well, let's, I guess, go play and see what happens. Uh, play. Okay, so, well, I don't want to be that guy. How do I change my character? Class? Uh, I like the hunter, she's pretty. Well, they're pretty. I don't know the character's genders, but, you know, I'm playing as the character, so her. <laughs> um, can make her be a chicken? What? Oh, I see. You can pick a couple of different... I'm confused. <laughs> okay, let's go to the tutorial. Um, well, I'm in Australia, so I guess I'll pick that one. Um, yeah, tutorial. That's what I want to do. Oh, it's already set the tutorial. Y button is how you pick the game mode you want to play. Okay, that makes sense. It's a little confusing. Match found. I, I don't know if this actually involves other players in the tutorial, or if it's just like a local scripted thing, like in Overwatch. We'll see. 
There's a big muscle friend there. Very strong. Welcome to the basic tutorial. To begin, move to the next room. Oh, I'm playing as some other dude instead of who I picked. That's really annoying. Alright, um... The visuals kind of remind me of Team Fortress 2. It looks a little bit cartoony, which is interesting. Um... Hmm. Well, let's head on and follow the tutorial anyway. Alright, it controls pretty similarly to Fortnite. You jump with B, uh, you move around with the left analog, you aim yourself different ways with the right analog. Uh, I can slash my little knife here with ZR. Now. Jump over the barrier and continue on. You can jump higher when close to a wall. <laughs> Try that now. This reminds me of the tutorial in Half-Life with little holograms. That's great. Excellent. In the next room, there is a chest. Open it. Weapons Boop. Be displayed in the corner of your very good. Please continue to the next area. Approach the window and vault through to continue on. Welcome to the shooting range. We have some targets set up for you. Please Is that guy a target? One of the targets. Ah! The player is downed. They will transform into a chicken. After of course they will. Time, <laughs> chickens will turn back into players. Eliminate them before this job. You can aim down sights to increase your accuracy. Yeah, I figured that out already. I'm pressing ZL to do that part. To the next area. Do I have unlimited ammunition? It doesn't seem to... It might just be in this section. I might have limited ammo in the actual game. Alright, so when you kill a player, they turn into a chicken for some reason. <laughs> Open the chest. Pick up the ability. Oh, an ability. Heroic leap. Leap at incredible height and distance. Abilities allow you to maneuver around the battlefield. Please okay. Heroic leap Whee! Oh, that's fun. Oh, and then it has a little cooldown timer. Can be used again. Okay, that's cool. Nice that's work. cool. I like it. Continue to the next area. Please loot the nearby chest. Okay. Will be displayed in the corner of your screen. Very good. Move to okay, the so next fire area. bomb, some sort of attack. Throw a fire bomb at the target. Ah! Excellent. Please move to the next ah! area. Take that foolish chickens. <laughs> This is so silly. Oh, oh no. Whoa. You've tripped a proximity mine and are injured. That crate will have some potions for you. Drink a potion to restore your health. Up arrow for potions? I guess there's a little timer and then you healed. The next area. Cool. When outdoors, you may mount up to travel faster. Mount up now. Do I have to go over to one of these critters to do the mounting? I'm a little confused. I need to go over here? No. I'm pressing the button, it just makes me crouch. So... I can see a horse there, how do I... How do I act, do it? Can't jump over that. Um... Hmm. Oh, okay. It it meant the right um button on on the on the D pad, because it looks exactly the same as the right button on the on the other part. Okay, cool. So yeah, I can just summon a horse by pressing across like that. That's cool. Excellent. Whoa, lots of chests. In this area, chests can drop items of different rarities. Okay, yeah, I can say there's an epic movement. Improve your loadout. You should disenchant unwanted items to turn them into shards. I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to disenchant these. What do we got here? I'll take the revolver, uh, and I'll disenchant these. I like the dodge roll. Whew. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, um, I will take the crossbow. That sounds pretty good. Um, I guess I'll take the barricade. Oh, hang on, longsword. That's cool. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll take the long sword. That sounds awesome. Thank you. Shards are used to craft items at the forge. Please continue to the forge now. Wait, there's crafting in this game? Did Hatsune Miku invent it? Activate the forge and craft an item. Normally, crafting an item would take a little longer. This time, I have sped it up for you. So I guess I have to hang around for a little while for it to do that. items are the most powerful items in the game. Pick up your craft very good. Now we will learn about skydiving. When the match begins... Oh! Oh, I'm in the, the battle bus. Okay, it's exactly the same as Fortnite. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is familiar. Yeah, this is very familiar. <laughs> Do I have a parachute or we're just gonna crash down? Oh, okay. <laughs> you have completed the tutorial. You can return to the lobby. Or, if you wish, you can try skydiving again. Uh, I guess I'll go into a real game now. Well, I like it. Um, I'm glad it, it sort of explained things a bit more than Fortnite. Um, it looks like it doesn't have a building system, which is a little sad. I thought that was a pretty cool idea, but it's alright. Um, the fact that players turn into chickens is really funny, too. I, I, I don't know why they do that. It's just... It's just... They turn into chickens. Of course they do. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it loading, or...? It's taking a while. Hmm. Hmm. It's going slow. Okay. Play. Uh, okay, so I'm back to squad now. I guess that's the default gameplay mode that's not the tutorial. I, I guess. And I'll be a hunter. Which looks pretty cute. Okay, so it's probably like matchmaking me with random people or whatever. <laughs> Is there anything I can do while I'm waiting for that or I just have to sort of sit here? Not much by the looks of things. <sighs> it's counting up as well, so it could take theoretically forever. It's not like in Splatoon where it counts down and that's until like it will disconnect you automatically because it just didn't work. It's just counting up. So that could theoretically go up to like an hour. <laughs> Hope it doesn't do that, that would be a problem. Um Okay, do I start with the dodge roll? Oh, I see. You can see what abilities... Okay, so assassins have blink. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so... Everyone gets a different starting ability, and then there's these... I think the loadout is like... Perks, basically, like in Fallout. By the looks of things. So that's pretty cool. I guess I have to unlock the other emotes or something. Hmm. I don't really know how I do that. Maybe just playing it will do stuff once I've done some of these quests and gotten experience. Maybe we have to spend money. Either way. Okay, there we go. Match found. Excellent. Two minutes. That's not too bad. Could be worse. I can't follow Rem Royale on Twitter. I got banned from Twitter for being too cute.
both in the more cute than is reasonable sense and the, you know, trans person who isn't a true scum sense. Both of those. <laughs> Still loading. Um, it seems to take a while. I feel like you could probably load some stuff up while it's looking for the room to play in, but it, it doesn't. Which is a shame. <laughs> but I've got a bit of a sniffle there, sorry. Um... Should probably be some music on this screen. Like, it's complete silence. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm hearing some, like, ambient bird sounds and stuff. Okay, I'm in the game. Prepare for deployment. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're hanging out inside the, um... The battle boss. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a... Alright, so it's a bunch of people in here. Um, I don't know if we're on the same squad and that's why we're in the same battle boss or if we're fighting each other or... I guess I'm, I'd be on the red team because all those other people have little red markers, but I don't know if that's how it works or not. <laughs> Alright, so you get, yeah, you get a big map that you jump down onto from your battle boss, just like in Fortnite. Uh, we, but you don't actually have a parachute in this game apparently, which is interesting. Seems like a strange thing not to have, considering you still skydive out of a flying vehicle to arrive in the area. I mean, that landing is pretty cool. Okay, so I, all I have right now is this knife, so I probably want to get a gun or something. Um, let's have a look around. I can see a bunch of people, like, marked all around the place, so I know where, where people are. I think they're teammates. I assume there's no fall damage because you fall from the sky to start and there's no parachute, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'll take both of these. How do I switch weapons? I'm not sure. Uh, do I have to pause? Because that seems like a weird limitation. Maybe I can just press... I don't know how to switch. Y button? A button? B button? Over the map. I have no idea how to switch to my other weapon. Oh, no, wait. There's an X button on it. Right, I'm dumb. Yeah, yeah, you just use ZR for your, your main weapon and use X for the other weapon. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm silly. <laughs> okay, uh, it's just over here. Flare. Yeah, I like a flare. I something bouncing around. I don't know if there's like an enemy or something throwing like a grenade maybe, but can't hear it anymore. I'm not sure. So I can actually summon my horse, right? Yeah, and I can ride around on my horse instead of on foot, which is pretty fun. So yeah, this is kind of, it's got kind of a fantasy vibe. Like a, a kind of sci-fi-ish fantasy a little bit. I mean, there's magic stuff, but there's also... Actually, come to think of it, there isn't a whole lot of sci-fi stuff. Yeah, I guess it's just fantasy. Whoa, this looks like fun. Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so, similarly to the, like, jet stream thingies in Fortnite, you can travel around like that. Okay. That's cool. Um... Again, I don't really know what to do. Like, I guess I'm supposed to attack the enemy people. Get, turn them into chickens. But I don't know who the enemy people are. <laughs> I guess I'll head, I should head to where the other players are, because that's probably where the battle's going on. Okay, no, it is sci-fi. Look at the sky. That's, that's very sci-fi. <laughs> but it's also, like, extremely medieval fantasy, if you have a look at the aesthetic down here, and the kinds of weapons we have, and that kind of thing. Like, we have guns and stuff, modern weapons, but... They're not, they're not that modern, I guess. Like, that shotgun looks... looks... kind of... revolutionary war-ish or something. It looks pretty old. <laughs> also, people have lightning bolt st staves and stuff, so yeah. Well, I can see a big uh, 
Soul Blade up there. Is there a gravity gun in this game so you can grab that? That'd be pretty cool. Not the Soul Blade over there. Who puts a Soul Blade on a staircase? It's a terrible place to put your Soul Blade. Uh, what do we in here? Soul Gust. Uh, no, I think I want to keep the one I've got. Clearly the players are getting killed and stuff. I just don't know where anyone is, so... Uh, I, th I think this is my fundamental problem with this game, so I don't know how to find people. So I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I can see there's some teammates, because they have little markers on their heads. I assume that they're my squad or whatever, and they're the ones I'm not trying to kill. But there's other people somewhere. So... Oh yeah, you're supposed to, like, zap stuff you don't want, right? Turn into shards. I forgot about that. The fog sets in. Okay, so the fog is... This, ha this happens in the other game as well. Presumably, it's just bringing in, like, a death barrier to force everyone to move closer together in the, in the game world, basically. And that happens every couple of minutes. Oh no, I got stuck. <laughs> um, seems like there should be some music here, but there's, there's not... Very quiet. I don't know if that's because I'm on headphones mode or just like this is how it is. It sounds weird. I'm guessing the chests around sort of respawn after a little while so people can get new stuff. Since I assume people already went through here. Since my teammates or squad mates or whatever are around. It's like a super good chest over there, I guess. Um, green's gonna get it, so it's probably fine. Yeah. Hang on, I can see someone down there. I don't have to, they don't have a marker, they must be an enemy. Mounting up. So, yeah, I guess I guess the tutorial for this game's a lot better, and the aesthetic I really like. Um, I'm not sure I like Battle Royale games in the first place, because it seems like the genre just doesn't quite work for me. Oh, you just press F to switch weapons, okay. Whew. Okie doke. Okay. So I, I killed a player, that, I guess that's good. I guess that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, did I respawn, or...? I mean, the number of players is going down, so I assume people don't respawn. Like they do in... Like, people do respawn in Fortnite, but I don't understand how that would work out, because I was... Because you are supposed to eliminate people. This whole genre is just really confusing. <laughs> it's a strange, strange genre. Oh, the Death Fog. There it is. I see it. I'm gonna go this way. Away from the death fog. Oh, use my horse. There we go. I'm not sure what the like meters on the waypoint what that, what that's actually referring to. Maybe like the fog will converge. You have to be within this area, and I need to head that way. I don't know. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So, if, yeah, if you, have, you have to be within the circle when the fog converges, because otherwise it will start hurting you and you, you'll die. I 
I seem to be surviving pretty well despite, like, not being where the other players are. And that kind of seems to be a bit of a problem with this game style. Because <laughs> the same sort of thing happened in Fortnite uh, when I was playing that one. The horse in this game really seems to be okay with slopes and stuff, which is good. Because uh, horses in various other games that have horses and slopes, I could mention, don't quite handle that so well. Um, Skyrim, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these one, these horses, are, they're just cool with slopes. You can just, just go up anything. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, f I feel like the, the lack of a build system, like in Fortnite, is kind of a big omission. Because that seemed a pretty effective part of that game, even though I couldn't figure it out because I was bad at the game. Wait, they have a motorcycle instead of a horse? That's freaking awesome! <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what, what, like, setting this is supposed to be. I thought it was medieval, but, I mean, m motorbikes. It's a loot goblin. Apparently I discovered one, but I don't know what that means. Like, I can see a little icon on the screen. I guess I should head towards it. Oh, okay. It's that guy. That. Restoring some health. Can we want to start heading towards the convergence point again? Is that a purple, is purple weapon extra good or? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll have that. Can't. <laughs> there goes the motorbike. <laughs> So silly. Yeah, I guess players don't respawn, which seems weird, because the game goes on for quite a while, and having no one respawn is a bit... I mean, it's going to be pretty boring for a lot of people, I'm guessing. <laughs> Having, you know, nothing going on. Oh, cool. Good, good for me. Delicious healing. Healing up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Run, 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 run. Or I should change my other weapon to something else. Ooh, spooky graveyard. That's very scary. I think I'm doing well, like, I haven't died yet, and, and like, the game is, I think, nearly over, so I guess I'm doing okay. I might have just been given a really good squad. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, it's one of those super chests, but it's already been opened. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Alright, I guess we took out the last person who wasn't on our squad? Alright, um... I think I had more fun playing that round than I did with Fortnite, because... I had a better idea of how the game works and how to play it, but... I still don't really find the battle royale genre, the battle royale third-person shooter genre, I guess, that appealing. I mean, I don't like Tetris 99 either, so I don't like that part of battle royale. It just doesn't, doesn't quite work for me. Um, I don't know, it just seems... You know, you got this gigantic map and you, you... Like, if you're gonna have a gigantic map like that, I feel like you should have a game more like Minecraft on that gigantic map, where you can create whatever you want and be creative. <laughs> if you if you if you get my gist, um, and you know, work together and that sort of thing, rather than trying to kill people. But you know, that's just me. Uh, all right. Um. So I guess I got some stuff. See, so yeah, I, I got some shards and, and stuff. Do I get any more emotes? No. That might take longer. Or I might need to buy a battle pass to do that. Well, I won't do another one just because it's already been like 30 minutes. And for a good place, place to cut off for the moment. Um, but yeah, that's Realm Royale beta apparently. It says in the corner there. So, um, it's a it's a battle royale game. And it's, it's kind of like Fortnite, but different. Whoa, I have lots of friends, apparently. Alright. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's similar to Fortnite, but it's like, it's got chickens, which I think is pretty funny. And, um, yeah. It also has a tutorial, which was pretty good, honestly. I, I was, I was not disappointed by that tutorial. That was, that was good. Um, I still don't quite click with the Battle Royale genre in general, but since they're all free to play, and this one I think is a good introduction, I would recommend giving this a shot if you aren't sure whether you do like these games or not, you might be able to enjoy it more than I did, because, you know, I, I had some fun, but it just isn't quite my thing, I think. Um, it does look pretty good. Uh, in terms of design here. It looks it looks polished, I would say. It's a little less rough around the edges than I thought Fortnite was. It also hasn't crashed yet. Fortnite crashed a bunch of times when I was playing it. Um, so, yeah, I reckon give this one a shot if you're interested in the genre or 
you don't know if you're interested in the genre and you want to find out. Because, yeah, it's free to play, and it, it seems pretty good. Um, I, I have no complaints. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't say it's the fantastic best game I've ever played, but it, it, I wouldn't say it's, like, unpleasant to play. It's just not quite my thing. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye!